Welcome to the GS6000 training video series. The topic of this video is routine maintenance on the GS6000. We recommend the carriage maintenance be performed every two weeks or even more frequent depending on your usage. In this video we will illustrate how to clean the print head, oil the print rail, and cleaning the platen heater surface. To execute the carriage maintenance we will enter the carriage maintenance menu, we will pass by the cleaning cycles, and move into carriage maintenance. We will then enter carriage maintenance and execute the carriage maintenance function. By executing this function, this will move the GS6000 printhead into the maintenance position. The first step in this process, as instructed on the LCD screen, is to remove the maintenance covers. There is both a left and right cover. You simply need to depress the cover, open it, and then remove the cover itself. One of the first steps in cleaning the printhead is arranging your supplies. The first thing you will need is the maintenance kit. This is part number C890611. In this maintenance kit, you will find the instructions and specifications for the supplies that are contained. You will find a flushing pad, a carriage rail tool, carriage rail oil, and approximately 10 foam tip swabs that are actually used to clean the print head and also a set of plastic gloves. Other items that you will need to clean the GS6000 properly is a lint-free cloth or rag to help wipe down any excess cleaning solution that will be used during the cleaning process. The other item you'll need is the ink cleaner kit part number C890621. The ink cleaner kit will consist of a plastic beaker we will fill the beaker with cleaning fluid and we will be able to dip our foam tip swabs into the fluid to clean the print head. The kit will also contain a bottle of cleaning fluid. In preparation for cleaning the print head, we will remove the cap and remove the safety cap to the ink cleaning fluid. We will then pour a small amount into our plastic beaker. To avoid accidentally spilling any of the cleaning fluid, please replace the safety cap and the cap to the bottle. Since we have initiated the carriage maintenance mode, the print head will be over into the maintenance position. If your maintenance tray is not in the maintenance bay, please place it in there to catch any existing fluid. After we dip the foam tip swabs in the ink cleaning solution, we are going to gently rub around all four sides of both print heads. And again, our catch tray is located underneath to catch any excess fluid that might drip off the head so it does not go into the machine. In a different view, the tray was designed to be able to reflect the print head so you do not have to bend down to look to clean it. You could actually see the reflection of the print head. And again, we are going to gently rub around all four sides of both print heads as well as the surrounding area of the print head itself. In this process, we are removing any of the excess ink that is located on the print head. From there, you're going to gently take your lint-free rag and wipe any excess fluid and excess ink that has built up on these areas. You want to gently continue rubbing and turning your cloth until no ink or no debris is on your cloth. From a different vantage point, again, we're going to want to clean the print head and the area surrounding the print head and we'll want to continue this process until the rag comes clean. Now we will cover oiling the print rail. To do this you will need your carriage rail tool and the carriage rail oil. Gently squeeze the bottle of carriage rail oil and place a few drops on either side of the felt tips of the carriage rail tool. To avoid spilling any of the carriage rail oil please replace the cap. From there we can use our carriage rail tool place it on the rail itself and gently rub back and forth on the carriage rail. Once the top rail has been cleaned, we will need to repeat the process for the bottom of the print rail. Place the tool on the bottom rail and again gently rub back and forth. Now we will show you how to clean the platen heater surface. To clean your platen heater surface properly, 
you will take one of your foam tip swabs, dip it into the cleaning solution, and gently rub out any ink spots or any debris that might be on the surface of the platen. Gently rub until all the ink or debris is removed, and then take a clean lint-free cloth and remove any excess cleaning fluid. And now we will demonstrate the proper techniques in cleaning the wiper and capping assembly of the GS6000 printhead. The first step in this process is to remove the right side maintenance cover if you have not done already. The first step in this process is to take your foam swab, dip it into the cleaning solution, and gently rub on either side of the wiper blade as well as the top edge of the wiper blade. From there we will clean all four sides of each capping station. This will ensure a proper seal to the print head when the head is in its park position. Be sure to clean the wiper blade and each capping assembly thoroughly. After the application of the cleaning fluid, take a dry lint-free cloth, rub down the wiper blade, and rub down each capping station gently. To replace the flushing pad, simply lift up on the front clip and lift it out. When you're replacing the new one, gently place the rear in first and push down on the clip. Once we've completed these maintenance steps, we can now replace each maintenance cover, both the left and right side. We can close the top cover, and now the GS6000 will instruct us to hit the pause button to have the head return to its home position. When the GS6000 is back in ready mode, it is a good idea to run a cleaning cycle. Simply by holding down the menu button for three seconds, this will initiate a cleaning cycle. Once the GS6000 completes the cleaning cycle, we will run a nozzle check. If we navigate down to test print, into nozzle check, and then hit OK to print, this will now print a GS6000 nozzle check pattern for both heads. We will want to evaluate the nozzle check pattern for any gaps, missing steps, or possibly a nozzle deflection. To keep the GS6000 performing optimally, we do recommend this carriage maintenance be performed every two weeks or as necessary depending on your usage.